Hi guys, today in uh, TBC I want to take a look at the View Filter Manager. So when you open a brand new um, project from a template, I have opened the metric one. As you can see in the View Filter Manager you have a few different options here. Um, right on the top you have My Filter and uh, All. All, basically you will see everything. My Filter is you can turn on and off some layers. Then you can duplicate these and have it uh, you know some custom filters so let's say for printing you can have a print um, I don't know cut fill print this different filters so when you click on it certain layers will turn on and turn off we'll take a, a look at that later on then obviously you have the the layers uh, pan flag raw data photogrammetry as you are building your uh, project there is gonna be new ones added like surfaces and all that stuff um, down here at the bottom you have some other uh, display options like point uh, so you can sh show point IDs, symbols, feature codes, etc. You can do observations whether you deal with the observation, GNSS data, you can show that and then you have some display options as well. Now obviously since I do not do photogrammetry for example or I'm not really big on raw data or flags here in this I like to simplify it so what I like to do is uh, I'm gonna go down here actually I'm gonna go up here and the last icon here is advanced view filter settings when I click on that uh, down here for example observation since I don't deal with this uh, on a regular basis I'm just going to turn it off, I'm going to hit apply and as you can see down here it disappeared. Same thing I'm going to do with the GNSS data, hit apply and I'm, I'm dealing with points and display all the options a lot so I'll leave those. Now up here as you can see uh, you can do the same thing for example for CAD objects you can uh, I believe let's try this you can double click you, you, you select it and then you right click it and you can move it up and down or show and hide category. So uh, if I do show, obviously cat data will show up here. If I do hide, this little icon here grays out. Once I hit apply, I'm going to do. Like I mentioned, I do not work with photogrammetry, so I'm going to hide that. I'm not really um, big on flags. Uh, I use the flag pan whenever it's down here and also I'm gonna uh, hide raw data because I have my system where I uh, let's say do so I simplified it as much as possible the next icon here we want to uh, hover at is hide non visible layers so if we uh, If we have layers which are uh, which you have nothing on, it would hide them automatically. Next one is view only layers of selected objects. So you can go and if you have a project and uh, let's say you import the uh, DXF, but you only want to keep uh, let's say uh, contours, but you don't know which layer are they on. You can just highlight the minor, minor contour like the two and then you click on this and it will hide everything else just leaves those two uh, uh, layers on so then you can highlight everything on those two layers and move them or elevate them or something else the next one here which is grayed out because I don't have you can also when you're looking at something and it's just too much you can just click on certain uh, objects and hit this button hide layers of selected objects and that would uh, hide those layers completely like uncheck them the next one here is uh, isolate layer so let's say you you are looking at uh, the layer names but you don't know what's on those layers are you can just basically click on drill pants hit isolate layer and you're gonna see only the layer only what's on that layer however that comes with the little covenant because if you are not zoomed out enough or 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 uh, zoomed in enough like i said right now i am zoomed uh, 2000 meters i would probably not see what's there so here comes this um, zoom extends so when you click that one in congestion of your isolator whenever you click on the layer it would zoom extend to to the 
objects on that layer which is very handy especially when you're looking what's on what layer uh, so once I check it and obviously you have the uh, you can delete a current filter you can rename a filter and you can copy your filter like I mentioned uh, right now you have the all which you can't erase because it's locked then you have my filter but you can create your own filters where you're gonna uncheck and check some uh, layers and basically then instead of just doing okay I don't need this I don't need this I don't need this you can uh, create uh, your filters so to demonstrate I'm gonna open a new new file with my uh, pro site uh, metric uh, I'm not gonna save this uh, reason why because I already have some some preset uh, layer groups as you can see as built uh, I should probably clean it up finish and whatever so what I want to do is I'm gonna copy view filter I'm gonna call it uh, finished design and hit OK now under my finished design I'm just gonna turn everything off except my finished design so then when I go back to my filter right and when I go to my finished design all I would see on the f on the display would be my finished design layer so I can create that the same thing existing uh, conditions and again here I would leave that and I would uncheck the finished design I would just check all the um, existing layers so if I want to see finished design I can click finish design if I want to see existing conditions I can see existing and uh, if I want to see all I can see all and then I obviously have my custom view filter where I can do only my own right so for the for example for the finished design I might want to add um, finish design surface right and the same thing if I go to the existing conditions I want to maybe want to add original ground so now when I switch finish design it, it would show me also my finish design surface so that would be just in uh, quickly kind of summarize the view filter manager you can have multiple view filter managers uh, zoom extends so it's used uh, mostly I use it with the conjunction of the isolate layer so whenever I click on the surface or whatnot it will show me what's on that layer only then you have a uh, isolate layer just one by one uh, you have hide layers of selected objects so you can pick few different objects different layers you click on that and it would hide them you have the other option view only layers of selected objects so you click on selected objects you click that and everything else disappears just the layers which those clicked selected objects they would stay on then you have the hide non-visible layers so it would be hiding those layers and you have the advanced uh, advanced view filter settings where you can hide move create uh different uh, layers uh, and everything else you know filter names as you can see filter name and everything so hope you found it uh, informative don't forget to subscribe hit like uh, post some questions and we'll see you next time